Petastrolosius, it's Glaze here. I hope you all enjoyed the last video I made on how to entry like config, as now I'm going to be doing how to clutch like Zipex. Whenever you think of a clutch player, I'm sure a few players come to your mind straight away, but without a doubt, the clutch minister himself, Zipex, pops up in your head. With over 600 clutches in his career, he is without a doubt an amazing player to learn from. There are many different things that you guys need to become an incredible clutch player. These are being able to stay calm under pressure, while also being able to make smart and calculated decisions. Now, this is quite quite a lot easier said than done, um, as it is very natural to be shaky or nervous when the pressure is on, that is just simply just being human. However, it is the experience of dealing with being put in these clutch situations time and time again that sort of desensitize yourself to this pressure and allow you to adapt yourself very well to it. The way that Zipex plays his clutch is to perfection. He is left in a 1 on 4 on Nuke without the bomb down. He has information of two players, one being a single door and the other one a double door. He doesn't know where the other two players are. The way that Zipex get out of this situation is by taking these four fights one by one against NRG. He first takes out Ethan on double door before collecting the bomb and repositioning to catch off Stannis Law on upper. From this, he now knows that the last two players are most likely going to be playing off of one another to have the best odds of winning it. He's able to take out Breezy first of all on single door before getting to cover to reload with also gaining the information where Tarek is. Tarek is a little bit impatient here and tries to push out to take the fight on towards Zipex himself, resulting in the round win for them. The best way to play a clutch just like this that I suggest is firstly you want to be trying to think of what the enemy side will be doing. We saw that Zipex kept looking towards ramp earlier on in this clutch for a while just because he didn't have a lot of information and he was trying to figure out if a player was going to come from there. Because so much time had passed at this point, he basically knew that most likely no one was there. This allowed for him to just purely focus on double and single door while being able to isolate one-on-one -on -one duels to play out this clutch perfectly. Being able to master isolating these one-on-one -on -one duels is a great great skill to have as a clutch player. You obviously also need to be able to not be whiffing these duels, you need to be winning because every single shot matters right here and you need to be hitting these crisp headshots. Even though you are under a lot of pressure to win the round in this situation, the enemy team is also under a lot of pressure as well because they don't want to throw away this round. In this clip, we see Zipex is left in a 1v3 against Fnatic. He has to go back towards T-Spawn to grab the bomb, and now because of this lack of information that Zipex has, you can see that he's actually shifting even at top middle. He's able to catch off Exist with a beautiful spray through the double doors on mid, who is just trying to get some information peaking middle, and then from this, he actually suspects there is a player towards B, however, he also doesn't know where the other player is, either towards long or short. Because of this, Zipex makes sure to be clearing all of these angles while going on towards the A site, however, because he doesn't have a lot of time left in the round, he has to do this fairly quickly to make sure he has time to plant. He has to actually plant safe here due to there being a possibility of a player already up short or even towards long. He would then smoke of short giving him a time window of about 15 seconds because that's how long a smoke lasts of him not really having to worry about this position. He tries to use his ankle to catch anyone towards CT, however he does have to reposition fairly quickly just in case there is someone towards long. Now Zipix will just stay in this one position looking towards long waiting and he is a little bit worried about a contact short push that's why he checks it. However the steps from Crim pulls him back to this position. He then plays this angle perfectly, spot on the head of Brolin before dropping a Molotov on top of himself, and then simply playing around the bomb and just staying alive for as long as possible. Now the thing I really want for you guys to take away from how Zipex played this round towards the A side on Dust2 here, is just how he clears angles from short, making sure to not assume where the enemy is going to be. Just being extra careful and clearing every single angle, even in a short amount of time with the little he has left in the round. From when Zipex then plants safe behind the single box, he actually just throws the smoke towards short on the fly a little bit and this can be risky for you as you couldn't actually know if it is going to land short or block it off completely it might leave a gap and all these things really so that's why i recommend you use this lineup from this position just aiming where i am now on the building and left click throw this will land perfectly on short making sure that there aren't any gaps here that the enemy could exploit from when zipix is now playing towards ramp he has this like a little bit it's hard to describe really it's sort of like an internal clock going on and he isn't actually counting the amount of time but he's more feeling it like a, a spidey set or something. You will know what I'm talking about guys if you've played enough CSGO, but based on this, that is when he's going to be checking towards short. When he saw the head of Brolin who was pushing up through short, he then played the angle perfectly. He just jiggled around with the boxes, making sure to get this information, but then not also commit to the fight at the same time. He then just has to stay alive in this situation and sort of respond with the Molotov and the bomb and just tucking, forcing Brolin to push him and take the fight. 
When it comes to clutching and just simply being a great clutch player like Zipex, there are some things you need to have. These are experience, being able to deal with the pressure of being in a clutch situation in the first place, and also knowing the best decisions to be making, and just overall a better and smarter player than whoever you are against. Zipex has mastered clutching over 11 years since he's been an active player, but starting back in 2011, through great understanding of the game, and also being a person who can just deal with the pressure and perform when this is on. The best advice that I can give for you guys to become a great clutch player is through experience of being in these situations. Now I don't mean go bait your team and always try to be last alive, but the more you're in these clutch situations, the better understanding you have for them and also your ability to deal with them will improve as well. Thank you Astralis CS for having me back on their channel once again. It's been Glaze and I'll speak to you very very soon.